<laughs> well, the other thing, you know, talking talking to the California market, for example, yeah. uh, when you look at uh, the percentage of pending inventory that is actually distressed by county, mm-hmm. um, L.A. County is about 35% uh, <laughs> of that inventory is either short sale or, you know, bank-owned foreclosure. Mm-hmm. Um, Orange County is at 30%, Riverside 48%, mm-hmm. and San Bernardino is at 44%. Mm-hmm. Um, the other interesting thing is that, you know, well, we, while we talk about short sales are, quote-unquote, going to be on the decline, right. the, the reality is Realty Track, Darren Bloom, Bloomquest, and Realty Track is considered the most um, trusted source yeah. for foreclosure information in the United States. Yes. Um, he he uh, predicts that there will be about a million short sales in 2013. Wow. Um, now, compare that with last year, under half a million. Uh-huh. There was yep. about four hundred and forty thousand short sales in two, in twenty twelve. Yeah. So we're going to double our short sale, and and here's the reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a flushing, basically, and this is a lot of government pressure too. Yeah. That, that they said, look, let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up, mm-hmm. <laughs> and mm-hmm. let's push go on it. And um, it, it it's a tough job trying to do it all at one time. Sure. There's right. A lot of reasons you don't want to flush flush it out that way, but the fact that there is a de- decrease in inventory uh, pre- presents the perfect timing to go ahead and get these, these uh, you know, people to raise their hand and go ahead and get. Now, now what are these 1 million units? These are people that have been waiting on the sidelines. Mm-hmm. They're people that are currently, de- they're, they're not even on the market yet, yeah. but they are behind on their mortgage. Mm-hmm. And by the way, did you guys know that if, if a person misses a mortgage payment, um, according to research I believe Chase did, that if a uh, if a person misses just one mortgage payment, they are at least fifty percent or more, uh, more than fifty percent likely to actually default on the mortgage completely, uh, like like wow. to go into foreclosure or short sale. Uh-huh. Just by, so it, it, after that first missed payment, half of those people will ultimately end up out of that home. End up out of there. Yeah. Now now here's what's happening. I want because you know I teach and lecture a lot of, about this. Sure. Sure. W- What's happening is the banks are basically saying, look, let's go, let's get this, this done. And according to uh, the information that I have from, the, from really some of the top four or five banks, mm-hmm. what they're saying is they're going to st- just say, look, here's some incentive to get out of your house now. Right. Otherwise, you will be out within 90 days or whatever that time frame is. Right. We're not going to play that game anymore of uh, hide and go seek, let's wait. It, they're under a lot of pressure to get the job done. Mm-hmm. That makes sense.